Welcome back to the Power Hour. I'm Missy Hyatt, and this is Missy Does the Mail. Missy Hyatt, she was born December 16th, 1963. A retired pro wrestling valet, commentator, and an occasional wrestler. Missy Hyatt. Now, you Ooh. wanna talk about a perfect 10. Oh. Back in the 80s, there was no woman in wrestling hotter. Some said Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth was too timid for Rude Boy. Oh yeah, no, Missy Hyatt had had that growl. Yes, yeah. yes. And and not only did she have that growl, but she had that look and she had that sexiness. And she was a student of the game of wrestling. Missy Hyatt. It doesn't matter that Scott Steiner is not going to be able to wrestle because we have a couple of secret weapons just. She was married to one of the great minds in wrestling, Mr. Eddie Gilbert. Before you know it, she's being offered WCW contracts. She even worked for Vince for one month. She was in the WCCW 1985 and 1986, Universal Wrestling Federation 86-87, WWF in 1987. Vince wanted to replace Piper's Pit with Missy's Manor. Missy Hyatt in Missy's Manor. You know, Chris, in wrestling, there's a lot of jealousy. Everyone thinks that they're going to have their spot taken from them. When Sherry Martell came into WCW the first time, Missy had a fit. She had a, she had a shit fit because here was someone who she thought was gonna take her place. Yes, I have. Well, this is the opposite way around. You still got the brawn, but you have the brainless. Whoever she came in contact with, she had the ability to take them, not only to the next level, but to the level after that. She had an incredible impact on the ECW in 1995 and 1996. Later on, years later, she worked for ECW when she oh, was yeah. the manager of the Sandman. And that really boosted his it, career. You see Hyatt leading the Sandman down to the ring for the three... Well, I'll tell you what, if you look at the Sandman, he was here, okay? When Missy Hyatt came along, boom, yes. right there. And man, he was big. Yes. I mean big. And that was, thank you, Missy. Hey, man, I understand that you talked to some of the legends about Missy Hyatt. Oh, I sure do. Well, let's go to that footage right now. Uh, the first legit diva in wrestling, right? I mean, when I went to, to UWF in 86, uh, she and uh, Eddie Gilbert were still married. Uh, she came up with half the name Shane Douglas uh, over at his house one day. Uh, he asked me if I wanted to use a, a stage name, you know, a work name or a, a shoot name. I didn't know the difference. I said, what's the difference? And he said, well, if you use a real name, Anybody can call the hotel and get wrong. I, oh, no, 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 no. I, I wanted my privacy. So he said, I'm thinking either Shane or Cody. And I said, well, I like Shane better than Cody. And we sat there for hours trying with incarnations of my real name. Troy Shane, Shane Martin. Like all, and nothing sounded right. Missy had gone into the kitchen to make lemonade. And when you walked out of the kitchen, there was like a, a, a wrought iron, like ceiling the floor piece of grate there. She came walk. I could still see her carrying the tray of lemonade saying, how about Shane Douglas? And me and Eddie looked at each other like, sounds like a real name, right? It flows, it, and that's where the, the name, she came up with the Douglas part of it. Missy, we go way back, man. Back in my WCW days. Missy's a good girl, man. She was a nice chick, man. Too bad we all gotta get old, man. Well, if I was, how many years, uh, wait a minute, if it was Missy Hyatt, how many years ago? I'd be going. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'll just close my eyes, turn the lights down low, and, and think about it. I'll tell you what, man. Um, uh, th those legends, you know, even back in the day, 
when there was jealousy and all of that stuff, when everybody was still involved in the business. Now, like you said, these legends are showing respect to one another, i.e. Missy Hyatt. Missy Hyatt wasn't the, the, wasn't the most welcoming person in the locker room. Everyone at WCW is mad at me. I mean, it can't be because of the things I've been saying on the hotline. Let me tell you something, uh, Missy Hyatt, not only one of the great minds in wrestling, but she's a well-educated woman who is still in this today, she's working for um, uh, some type of broking uh, firm. Oh, yeah. And so she's like really still hey, doing what she does. She's still making buku bucks, man. She's got talent. And you know, the talent she has, you can translate that to any business you want. What's she gonna do when WCW's hottest body out bikinis you at Beach Blast? Meow. Well, I'll tell you what, fans. Once again, if you'd like for us to talk about one of your favorite stars, it's real simple. Use this address right here at the bottom of your screen. Do it now. Send in those requests or listen, just- Listen, say, hey, Chris, can you talk about this? And I'm gonna do it for you. He's gonna do it for you. <laughs> That's right. So check that out. Try to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the greatest wrestling show of all time, Wrestling Real Talk. Baby. This is Chris Carter. I'm Rudy Hill. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the greatest wrestling show of all time, Wrestling Real Talk. Once again, if you'd like for us to talk about one of your favorite stars, it's real simple. Use this address right here at the bottom of your screen. Do it now. Send in those requests. And it's Wrestling Real Talk. So smash the like and whatever you do and then push the thing and subscribe and don't kayfabe it and get two uh, accounts because they'll get you in the end.